Hey y'all and welcome to your month ahead reading for June. This is a timeless reading so whether you are watching this in June 2021 or 2024 if you are guided to this video then there is a message in here that you need to hear okay. Um, I have three piles right here whichever pile you are drawn to or crystal um, just choose that pile if you need to take a moment you can hit pause on the video or you can actually go over the different piles with your hand kind of see if there's any kind of energy that might resonate via camera also you know just closing your eyes taking a deep breath Um, I'm also going to be doing a charm casting in this reading, which I'm really excited about. This is my first charm casting video. I was super inspired by several charm casters on YouTube. There's not a lot of them. And I felt like that was when I kind of got the calling to step up and try to do this. But for me, um, even though I was guided to do this a year ago and I wanted to do this, I couldn't wrap my head around how to create a charm collection that would resonate with myself and it took me a long time to figure that out um, because for me I'm just not like a big clutter person. I don't like knickknacks, um, things like that. So I really had a hard time figuring out how I could actually um, keep these in a space where they feel clean and happy and I always kept coming back to a charm necklace that I had from the 80s and a lot of my charms are from that necklace and I've held on to that. I've had it since I was four years old. It went with me everywhere. I've traveled and lived um, in New Jersey, LA, Nashville um, and it went with me everywhere and I also shared it with my daughter Annabelle and I decided um, instead of letting these charms maybe get beat up anymore I was going to put them into this collection here so I am waiting for some more charms but I will um, go through my charm collection once I get the rest of them in but for now this is just an additional divination tool I'm just going to be using a focus plate it's a little cute plate um, and whatever charms fall on the plate is really the main focus of your reading um, I have seen other youtubers use a focus hoop a focus palm um, a, 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 just like a you know a, a, a placemat of sorts um, where they actually you know cast the charms it's something fun um, this is a happy channel very lighthearted so I chose very happy charms very colorful charms um, that I felt like uh, really resonated with the happy peach theme okay so I will be doing that um, I was inspired by uh, the charm casters um, uh, Asa to divination um, charmed intuition tarot I really loved a lot of her explanations around charms and her inspiration she's really into nostalgia as well so definitely be sure to check out her channel and then also I believe it's mahogany star power she has like the hoop and there's just like I said there's just not a whole lot on YouTube which I felt like there needed to be more and I definitely felt guided to do this for a long time so um, definitely let me know if this resonates with you and be sure to subscribe below if it does um, I'm planning on doing many timeless pick a card readings with the charm castings and yeah I will leave the time stamps below in the comments so pick whichever pile resonates with you and I will see you soon Okay, for those of you who chose pile number one, uh, you guys chose the Aqua Aura Quartz Crystal. This is a wonderful manifestation stone, also a stone of abundance, communication, healing, wealth. Um, it's a really positive stone. So first I'm gonna start off with your cards. Okay, so we have Dragon Spirit, Sunflower, Confidence, Compassion, aging, for your tarot cards we have the world ten of wands, 
two of pentacles and the queen of swords okay so let me just take a moment to kind of look over this all right so we have the dragon card which is about discovering your courage okay so some of you all could be working on that right now depending on your situation um, and then we have the confidence coming in. So that's very uh, much aligned with the dragon and the sunflower card. Okay, so it looks like you guys are definitely going through a period where you might be working on yourself. You have the card aging coming through, which says, I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. Okay. Um, we have the world card coming in, um, and the world card is all about success, completion. So if you are working on something currently at the moment, it's definitely going to lead you to a very successful conclusion, whether it's happening right now or if it's in next year, because sometimes this card does come up for 2021. So, um... Yeah, so this definitely could be talking about something that you're working on maybe next year. You, Some of you could also be planning to travel, do some world traveling. It looks like you have some options with the Two of Pentacles here. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So some of you all could be um, an, an air sign, okay? But June um, is also mostly in the Gemini, uh, you know, Zodiac sign. So that also could be just referencing the part of June where you're going to maybe figure something out. It looks like a lot of you guys may be carrying a little bit too much on your back with this 10 of wands card. Um, it feels like, you know, there's just too much going on. So it feels like there is like a need to kind of release something with this queen of swords energy and maybe making a decision that's going to lead you to, to something that is more prosperous. Okay. Um, but that might take some confidence and some courage to do that. But you do have this beautiful compassion card. It says the vibration of compassion shines through my every cell. So, um, I really love that. This is about compassion for yourself, okay? So it's really important that as you discover your courage and maybe take some kind of a new journey or a new path, that you have compassion for yourself and be confident. Um, let me read this card to you. So it says, confident sunflower stands tall and radiant, shining like the sun. When you are suffering from low self-confidence or self-doubt, Sunflower humbly reminds you of your true magnificence, instilling acceptance and understanding and allowing loving compassion to flow from your heart. Oh my gosh, look at that. Compassion, compassion again. So um, there it is right there. It's reminding you of how special you are, your true magnificence. Um, perhaps maybe some of you are struggling with aging or how you're viewing yourself. Maybe you're going through some type of a transformation. Maybe things that were working for you, um, you know, <laughs> 10 years ago are not working for you anymore. Maybe it's just time to let go of something. Maybe there's just a new way of living. There's just Maybe there's too many things, too many emails or too many things coming through and you guys need to have more of like an adventurous spirit. I'm going to pull your charms right now. Now, um, I have been inspired by a lot of different charm casters on YouTube. There's not that many of them, which is why I really feel like I was called to kind of come on YouTube and do some charm castings. Um, I've also seen charm casters that use shells, which is really cool, uh, but um, mainly, um, I was definitely inspired by Charmed Intuition, uh, Taro, definitely check out her channel, um, and then I believe it's Mahogany Star Power, she, she uses a little hoop, and then she has the charms in there, and then, um, Asatu Divination, she's the one that does shells and stuff, um, but she also does charms, so let's, um, I'm gonna use this as kind of like a focus plate for, for this reading. Find my angels. What messages do you have for pile number one? All 
Okay. So let's see here. We got a lot going on, pile number one. So we do have this tennis racket here. So I feel like for the tennis racket, this is all about you going out and hitting the ball, like giving, giving it a try, like trying something new, something that's outside of your comfort zone type of a thing. Um, we do have the number six coming through here. Um, we have a wedding ring, could be indicating that some of you might be in a marriage currently, or there's some kind of a commitment that is pending. We have the fry pan. <laughs> Let me see what else we got. Okay, we do have the transformation butterfly, and that's also on your aging card. So definitely a lot of you are going through transformations in the month of June, okay? On the outside of the plate, we have the camera here, and the camera is all about, um, I would think would be like maybe the traveling, like maybe some of you really wanna do some traveling, exploration, seeing the world, but it's not the focus at the moment, it's something down the road. It might be next year or something like that, okay? And this is a timeless reading, so if you guys are tuning into this in June of 2021, um, you know, if you're drawn to this video and this pile, this message is for you, okay? Yeah, so there is some kind of like a wish here with this star that you want to achieve, or maybe it has something to do with photography or memories or taking photos. In the focus area, we do have um, this little rocking horse, which com sometimes comes up for your childhood. It could be talking about your inner child, or it could be a young, um, a young baby, a female, okay? We have this cute little macaron, which comes up for travel, like I think of France or Paris. So maybe some kind of travel plans that you, or there's a destination you really want to go to. Oh, I love you. There is a romance element in here. Some of you guys might be looking for some type of commitment in this new stage of life, okay? Um, maybe that's something that you are interested in and wanting. Um, so maybe there is some special message that comes in this month in regards to this. So this little notepad says, um, it says, I love you. <laughs> so cute. The pen is missing, but hey, I've had this since I was four. So, <laughs> um, this little lollipop, um, this to me feels like, this reminds me of your inner child and trying new things and you know, having something that is sweet and happy and indulgent, even with that macaron here. So I love that. And the frying pan is also to me like about what are you cooking up? It's like about what you're, what you're making right now. You know, this egg can turn into so many different dishes, right? You know, you can make any kind of dish you want with this egg. Um, you know, in Europe, they put you know, a, an over easy egg or a sunny side up egg on pizzas, okay? Or in Asia, they put it um, in some different dishes uh, with noodles. Uh, you can make a sandwich with it. So I do feel like you do have these options with that two of pentacles coming in and the world card. So I feel like this month is going to be a month of self-discovery. Um, being compassionate to yourself, maybe summoning up some type of courage for some type of change that's coming in that would maybe take place maybe in the following year. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do, I would do it, you know? I would start planning now, okay? because it feels really positive. It just feels like there's really good um, energies around this card. And again, with the world, I mean, that is about like successful completions. It could even indicate a new beginning that will be more fulfilling for you. And look at this unicorn with their magic wand in their hat, in their mouth. <laughs> Not in the rat. 
Um, so I definitely feel like there is something wonderful. I'm also hearing the word enterprise, so I don't know if that has anything to do with any of you who have picked this pile. Starting your own enterprise. But I feel like you have the ability to do it. This Queen of Swords energy, this is all about strength and independence and cutting to the truth of a situation and making decisions. Um, this queen is fearless, okay? And you have what it takes to do this. Um, you just have to believe it. All right, well, super cute charms in here, pile number one. If this resonated with you, I would love to hear in the comment section below. Um, thanks so much for tuning in to Happy Peach Charms and Tarot. And if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I am at, at Happy Peach Charms. Uh, if you're new, definitely subscribe below, leaving comments, sharing, liking, all that jazz. I'm doing timeless pick a card readings on this channel with charm castings as an additional divination tool. Everything is positive and happy here, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, for those of you who picked pile number two, you chose the Angel Aura Quartz. Um, this is a wonderful crystal. It's a healing crystal and also aids in communication to the angel realm. Beautiful. All right, let's see um, what is coming for you in June. So we have the seven heavenly virtues, calendula, which is communication, your tarot cards. You got um, a little bit more tarot cards in the other pile. So you have two eights coming in really clear. So something could happen on the eighth or eight of the month. We have the nine of cups coming through and another nine. So those could be some really important time frames for you all. It could be talking about an August into September time frame that you might be working on right now that would or in the month of June that would apply to that time frame. We have self-sufficiency and beauty coming through. All right, so let's see here what we got. So communication is the connected to the calendula. Um, our thoughts and words have great creative power, both positive and negative for ourselves and others. Calendula helps soothe your thoughts and words with warmth and compassion and understanding so that there is balance between assertiveness and receptiveness in communication with others. So it's a soothing, um, flower okay uh, and if I'm pronouncing that wrong I do apologize some of these I'm just not familiar with um, all right so we have the self-sufficiency card is it says that the ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God it doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying I don't need people instead it's saying God is my source and I am willing to receive all the help love and support that wants to come Okay, so they are asking you to kind of reach out to or rely on a higher power, okay, um, in helping you maybe get connect back to your source and also um, soothing your thoughts and words with warmth and compassion and understanding. Uh, so there is some issues with where maybe um, I'm getting the sense that maybe... <laughs> Some of you have maybe shut down a little bit with this Eight of Swords energy in here, um, or maybe, and then you have the Hermit. I mean, the Hermit is all about going within and not really wanting to come out, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so there might be a need to kind of come out and have some more um, celebrations. Um, maybe there is a need for you to work on a new project, or some of you maybe have been out of work and you need some type of communication or daily interactions with people, maybe that's a big part of what you need right now um, and due to the situations that are going on, um, you know, maybe that's a little challenging at the moment. You have the beauty card coming through. So I'm gonna read this for you all. 
So it says you're beautiful inside and out. Your sacred inner and outer space are radiant and glory, glorious. No matter what your age, your loveliness is growing. Create outer harmony in your home environment, even in small ways, such as a vase of flowers, a scented candle, or clean the windows. And then your inner grace will glow. The more you see beauty around you in your environment, yourself, and your body, the more it will fill your life in all forms. Never say anything about yourself or your body that is negative. Don't put yourself down silently or to others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body and personal space. Take a luxurious bath, do your nails, have a massage, create a home altar, cherish yourself, and the luminescence within you and around you will glow. So um, I feel like in the month of June, you really are going through a bit of a transformation in terms of one, how you communicate to yourself, and then also how you communicate to others. I do feel like there is a need for you to connect to the angelic realm, especially with this angel aura quartz. Um, angels are non-denominational, so um, maybe connecting to an angel that's very lighthearted, like Archangel Jophiel, could be a good angel for you to connect to. And it's all about you relying on God, you know, the universe, your source um, to help you. Um, you know, to get and receive all the help, love um, that you need. I'm almost just getting a sense that you're feeling maybe very isolated and very uh, restricted right now in what your dealings are and maybe just feeling like your hopes are going to be dashed. But I do feel like there are some dreams that are coming in for you in the fall time frame. So right now you might just be having a very hard time, but I do feel like that is going to start shifting for you. And they want you to focus on the seven heavenly virtues because this is your key to goodness, okay? So for the seven heavenly virtues, it says that you represent spiritual enlightenment, divine knowledge, and wisdom. You have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful. You have the deep intuitive understanding of God, the angels, and the universal spirit. You know the keys to goodness. You're being asked to use this knowledge to empower and teach others. Wow. So that's a, a completely different spin on this. So some of you already might have this within you, but you are struggling with how to communicate this out into the world. Maybe this is part of your work. Maybe you want to do some type of spiritual work and you guys are figuring that out right now but you do have to work on you know your communication with others and how to spread this message out and a lot of it has to do with just how you feel about yourself um, taking care of yourself having a spa day going for a massage whatever it is that makes you and your space around you feel beautiful and then emulating that out okay so um, I do feel like there's two energies here. There could be people here that feel stuck just because of they're feeling very isolated. And then there could be others of you that want to do more spiritual work but are kind of struggling with how to get that messaging out to people. Um, and you have a strong connection to the other side. So um, it says what the heavenly seven virtues mean is faith, believing and trusting in the right things, hope, um, belief that good will prevail, charity, unlimited loving kindness towards others, fortitude, never giving up, and justice, being fair and equitable towards others, patience, accepting the grace to forgive, and temperance, practicing self-control and moderation. I love these messages for you all. So this feels like a really important month for you guys, okay? Um, and I really feel like whoever chose pile number two this is something that you really needed to hear right now. So next I'm gonna just do a charm casting for you just for some additional messages. This is gonna be my focus plate here. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Ironically, you got very similar charms to uh, group one, although I'm not surprised because uh, the month of June could have very similar energies, uh, especially with Gemini as um, one of the main zodiac signs, which is a very uh, fluttery energy, energy, very similar to a butterfly of sorts, okay? That's a very lighthearted energy. So uh, we also have the number four in here, so that could have some um, 
resonance with you either on the you know June 4th that could be important four also means that the angels are with you and helping you so that is a very strong angel number so we have the tennis racket here which I feel like just means like going outside and maybe having some fun especially in this reading we also have a telephone, so picking up the phone, calling a friend, calling people, connecting with people, asking somebody to maybe have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, something like that. Um, we have a female energy coming in, very young female energy. This could represent you even just getting in touch with your inner child here if you are female and you are watching this. Okay, so that's your focus. I feel like it's a very lighthearted, fluttery energy uh, with really going outside, maybe exercising, taking up some kind of sports or getting out some kind of aggression of sorts and connecting to friends and people around you, maybe even some children. Maybe there's some children around you, something along those lines. Outside, um, so this is not necessarily the focus, but could be the focus down the road we have the frying pan so maybe you working and cooking up something creative or working on maybe some culinary stuff foods food related things or um you know you you know thinking of something maybe creating a business or something like that we have the camera this camera could be about you um creating photographs into your work and into your teachings um some type of spiritual work maybe it's linked to food or cooking this uh little lollipop here this just has a very fun kid like energy sweets could be linked again to some kind of food type of a of a thing it just has a very fun i mean i'm feeling like boardwalk energy when i'm looking at that right now we have a little love note coming through so maybe there is some kind of a a love note or a love message that comes in from somebody it's coming in with this is the marriage dub right here um, something with a marriage or something with that kind of communication and then we have the bicycle over here this to me feels like it's like a work in progress okay this isn't a full bike it's not ready to ride it's missing its wheels but I feel like it um, it's something that's in the works, okay? Maybe some of you are manifesting some type of a relationship or a commitment, but you know, there are, um, is there's a different energy that you need to shift into first before you attract these other things into your world, okay? All right, well, if this message resonates with you, group two, I love to hear it in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram um, at uh, happy peach charms and um, if you're new definitely subscribe below share like comment all of that jazz I greatly appreciate it all um, I'm really excited to keep doing this work for you and um, I'm wishing you a wonderful month ahead uh, for June okay I'll talk to you soon bye all right, for those of you who chose group three, this is the Phosphosiderite Crystal, and I'll read that for you. It is a stone of healing and hope, assists with finding balance and stability, calms and helps alleviate stress and anxiety, brings spiritual support to healing the physical and emotional and mental bodies, also helps to access past life memories, and the third eye chakra, connecting one with their soul purpose. Okay, Full message so let's see what's coming in for June and I'll get to your charms in a little bit so we have battle of the blues taking steps toward positive change that definitely makes sense with the phosphosiderate coming through wood betony or betony which is grounding like a loving hug wood betony energy is very physical calming and grounding helps you to connect with your intuition and gut feelings strengthening your boundaries so that you can manage relationships and responsibilities with ease and a strong sense of physical and emotional well-being wow okay that wow super powerful all right so as far as your tarot cards go we have the knight of cups the sun what three of wands and the hanged unicorn so wow group number three 
let me tell you, some really wonderful things are coming in. There is definitely some kind of a job offer or some kind of opportunity coming in here. Some kind of a new beginning, prosperity. This could be the birth of a child. Um, wow, uh, we have the Three of Wands with that, so your ships are coming in. So a lot of prosperity is coming in. If you are in a situation where you are waiting on something, be assured that it is coming in, okay? Change, there it is. It is coming in for you and success. Wow. Wow, pile number three, yeah. Okay, so it says success fills my life in ways beyond my greatest expectations. Okay. Um, okay, so as far as the change card, because you guys are definitely going to be moving into some new energy. Um, there is a new beginning for you happening in June. It says um, don't scare yourself within the next 40 steps. All you need is one next action. Um, and just say... Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. I always say that prayer like in the morning. I always say if I'm overwhelmed, just show me one step today. That's all I need is just one action step, okay? Um, for me, I have been working on an Oracle deck uh, for the last three months and it was very overwhelming and very stressful, but I knew it was something I really wanted to do and at times I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to do it. Um, because I'm not a graphic designer and I was doing all the artwork and everything, a lot of things to my, like all by myself, really. So it was a learning process and it was very daunting at times. Um, and I had, I made a lot of mistakes and I had to, you know, learn from that. So, um, I would always pray just one action step for today. Okay. Um, to my guides, my angels, that kind of a thing. I do want to pull your charms to get some additional information, even though I'm already seeing this new successful beginning for you. Okay. So let me grab my little wand right now. I'm waiting for my fairy wand. Um, we have this cute little lollipop here. This is just a very childlike, um, fun, charm. I don't know. I just feel like it's just associated with just a lightheartedness and maybe exploring, just having that childlike joy and happiness. We also got the royalty crown. What? Um, that is really good. That comes in for royalty, money, prosperity. Um, so really beautiful energies together. This feels like the sun energy almost to me. And then this feels like that money aspect, success, royalty, in, you know, enjoying the finer things in life. Um, on the outside, you have a coffee cup, you have the butterfly for some like really happy energy. We have a little rocking horse. So I do feel like there's some travel that's coming in, possibly with this opportunity, just because we have the macaron and that reminds me of Europe, France kind of a thing. There could be some romance coming in as well. We have the I love you or some kind of a love message coming through. We have a cat, okay. Let's see here. Lipstick, I don't know. I'm definitely feeling like some kind of, like the finer things in life, you know, with the macaron, the lipstick and everything the cat just feels very like refined to me as well um like a siamese cat or something that has like more um you know i don't know kind of has that royalty vibe to it so yeah there is some childlike female energy coming in so some of you guys could have a baby girl or a girl daughter that could be involved with this new change. But I mean, I just basically just feel right in here like there's just this yumminess going on um, with just this royal energy. Um, purple also is connected to the divine as well and linked to your crown chakra. And then just enjoying like new experiences. So it feels really, really positive. Um, we have that butterfly, which definitely goes with the change card here. 
So you all are going through some type of a really amazing transformation. And I feel like you guys are going to be seeing the world in a new way, in a way that maybe you've never seen it before, where you have money all of a sudden, or you um, all of a sudden are just seeing things differently, where you stop in a little bakery and you try a macaron, or you try this wonderful lollipop or something, or try on some fancy makeup, you know, some Bobby Brown <laughs> makeup or something like that. The bicycle makes me feel like it's like a work in progress, so maybe, you know, you experience more of these changes that we're seeing on the outside in the next three months just because we have that three of wands. So the opportunity is coming in this month though, okay? And then it's going to shift you in the next few months, all right? And that's where that success comes in. So if you guys have been dealing with the Battle of the Blues energy, it's just saying to take, you know, one step a day toward positive change um, and asking your guides and angels what to focus on. And then again, you have that stone of healing and hope. So I feel like you guys are coming out of a really hard time and moving into a very positive one. So um, beautiful energies for you in June. If you all enjoyed this reading and it resonated with you, I'd love to hear in the comments below. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more timeless charm casting pick a card readings for you all. Um, be sure to subscribe, share, and follow me on Instagram. Um, which is at Happy Peach Charms. And I will talk to y'all soon, okay? Bye.